Hey, it's Rafa Jigula and this is a review of Moremi 3rd Bridge Campsite. Third Bridge Campsite is about 70 kilometers, give or take, from Kwai Village, which is adjacent to the North Gate into Moremi. You can get you via North Gate through Kwai Village. That's if you're coming from Kasane, for example, or from the Chobe National Park. Otherwise, you can also get here through the South Gate if you're coming from Maun. Although it's a relatively short distance from either gate, either north or south gate, 50 to 70 kilometers, it is a long drive. It's at least three hours because it's a very twisty, turny road with a lot of dips filled with water in the rainy season. There are also fairly deep sandy bits along the way that will also slow you down. And of course, there's some really cool bridges to cross along the way here. You need a 4x4 to get here. I would not at all recommend that you try to get here without a 4x4, especially in the wet season. Might be different in the dry season, but those sandy roads still will be a challenge. Quite a few people that are camping here have off-road trailers or off-road caravans, so it is possible to get here with one of those. Of course, it will take a little longer because there are a lot of sharp turns on those dirt roads and also because it is quite sandy from time to time, quite deep sand, so you've got quite a bit of weight to pull when you've got one of those behind you. There's no electricity at the campsite. There's no lighting at the campsites either. Each campsite has a bri, that's a little steel bri with a grid on top of it, as well as a fire pit. You'll also find a water tap at every single campsite and that is groundwater. Very good shade at all the campsites. In fact, we've set up our campsite specifically to take advantage of the shade. We've taken a bit of a gamble that it won't rain. And because it might rain, we've built a little bit of a water diversion around it. But good shade at all the campsites. The surface is sandy or silty rather, as is most of the park and the surrounding areas. There's no grass or rather no lawn on the campsites. Our campsite's quite large. In fact, most of the campsites are a fair size. The actual demarcation of the campsite shows that this is about 30 meters by 30 meters, actually a little bit more. But the actual usable space is a bit less than that, depending on how you want to set up and where you want to set up. But you could easily fit more than four vehicles here with corresponding tents or your tent set up. So it is a fair sized campsite. Privacy between the campsites, depending on which campsite you have, we have about 20 meters, maybe a little bit more of bush between ourselves and the next campsite and we cannot see the other campsites. But some of the campsites are relatively close to each other. In fact, they're adjacent to each other without anything to camouflage the one from the other. And it's just that there's a set of demarcation poles in the way so you know which campsite is which. So it depends on which campsite you are, whether you have some privacy or not. There's a set of ablution for every three or four so campsites. Our ablutions are, I'd say, about 60 meters from the campsite itself. Very quick walking distance. This is an unfenced campsite though, so that 60 meters may seem like a lot during the night, depending on how brave you are. And those ablution facilities have cold and hot water, hot water from a solar system, and showers, toilets, as well as basins, and there's a wash-up area to do your dishes. The wash-up area though is only cold water. There's a garbage cage. For you to go and put your trash so you've got to keep your trash together at your campsite and then take it to the garbage cage which is secured with a little wire loop that works well in respect of keeping the rubbish away from the animals so we have had a jackal for example come scavenging around the campsite at night and there are baboons as well there's a little kiosk on the site or there's a little kiosk at third bridge campsite and that has a few drinks, wine, water, etc. But it's pretty basic. You can get wood there as well. There's no ice at the time that we are here. Note that there is no fuel here. That's important because it's a relatively long drive to get you from the nearest fuel station. So you've either got to fill up in Maun or fill up in Muchenja if you're coming from the Kasane side. And although it's relatively short distances, it is very slow driving. So it is a bit fuel heavy. You can get fuel in Kwai as well. It's a relatively informal system and that comes at quite a significant premium. 
Gate times are from 5.30 a.m. to 7 p.m. in the summertime, which is the time that we are here. Campsites are pre-assigned and well demarcated as well. So your campsite number is assigned to you before you get here, which I really like. Our campsite though was changed along the way. And so when we arrived here, it was a different campsite number to what we had initially expected. However, it is booked and numbers are assigned. So still pretty well managed in that respect, which I like. I like it when campsites are assigned. It's relatively bushy here. We're on the banks of a marsh area, but there really isn't much in the way of views. Of course, though, you can hear the hippos at night splashing around in the water and the sounds of insects and frogs and wildlife that you would typically associate with a marsh. Speaking of wildlife, lots of birds around the campsite. Beautiful in that respect. All is bird sounds throughout the daytime. Note that if you're heading directly to Third Bridge, from Southgate or Northgate or further afield. It's gonna take you three hours approximately, maybe more or less, to get here from either one of those gates. So you've got to give yourself enough time to get to your campsite before the park gate closing times. Management has been great. The bathrooms have been spotlessly clean the entire time that we've here. We've had really good interactions with the staff. They've come and collected the ash every morning and we've also had some problems with the battery on our vehicle and they've been quite helpful in that respect in jump-starting us and just being available to assist where possible. So management of the site has been fantastic so far. Stuff to do. Basically, wildlife view. That's why we're here. That's why we are in the Okavango Swamp. It's to experience the environment and see the wildlife and it has not failed to deliver in that respect. Third Beach campsite is really well located, so the wildlife is basically just outside of the campsite. If you want to take a short drive through the gate, there is wildlife immediately outside the gate, so it's really nice from that point of view. Very close. So close that even the lions get a little bit cozy with the campsite. Things to note, this is an unfenced campsite. As I mentioned, the ablutions are about 60 or so meters from here, estimate by eye. And if you do another 60 or so meters, you might bump into some lions, um, as we had some lions there just last night. So wildlife is definitely in and out of the campsites. There are elephants as well, for example. There are hippos as well that will come around the campsites and eat the grass and so on. There are baboons, monkeys, impala. This is an unfenced campsite, so whenever you find in this area of the Moremi National Park, you will probably find close to your campsite as well. Speaking of primates, we were warned as soon as we came in that the baboons can be very problematic. They weren't here the first couple of days that we were here, the first two days that we were here. They have pitched up this morning and they are making themselves seen and known. We haven't had any interference from them so far, but we have tried to keep them away from our campsite and we keep squaring them and shouting at them and stuff like that. So be aware that there are baboons and we've been warned by the staff that the baboons are problematic. So basically don't leave anything out, don't leave any food out or something of value that you are concerned the baboons may get to. And importantly of course, please do not feed the baboons. That is a significant part of the reason that there are issues with baboons and monkeys on many campsites. So what type of camp is this for? You've got to bring everything you need with you, basically, besides a bry stand, which we always have. We always have our little bry stand with us. But there's no electricity here, there's no lighting, there is groundwater which is reportedly potable, but we always bring our water with us. There are ablutions with hot and cold water as well. There is a fire pit. So it's relatively easy camping, but you do need to get here with a capable vehicle, firstly. And secondly, you need to know that you need to bring everything that you're going to consume pretty much with you. So what is here? Lots of shade, which is great. Bry stand, fire pit, ablutions with hot and cold water, and a wash-up facility. There's also a tap on the site. There are baboons. And lots of birds and animal sounds as well at night. What isn't here? No electricity, no lighting, with the exception of lighting at the ablutions. Although the lighting at the ablutions is not great, 
and that's been experienced at the other two campsites Northgate and Southgate as well so in respect of lighting although there is lighting at the evolutions it's not really functional luckily of course the solar power seems to go to the hot water so that's fine although it has been very hot and humid in the time that we are here so we would not have missed the hot water if it wasn't there there's also no cell phone signal here no cell phone signal no data of course because there's no cell phone signal however there is a landline at the main office and they do have wi-fi although i haven't asked for access to it we have had wi-fi access at the other two campsites northgate and southgate so i suspect that wi-fi would be available on request so would i recommend third bridge campsite in moremi national park in botswana yes absolutely not just because it's a great campsite but also because it is fantastically positioned lots of access to wildlife wildlife also has lots of access to you it's a great campsite really enjoyed it definitely recommend it hope you found this informative as usual and please hit the like button if you did if you want to support the channel then give me a super thanks or buy me a coffee at the link below 100% voluntary leave a comment below leave a question below if you have one i'll definitely get back to you and until the next episode go everywhere see everything have a great time